All right, for more on Disney's report, let's bring in CNBC contributor Tom Rogers. He's currently the Newsweek editor at large and the first NBC cable president. Tom, it's always great to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, what did you make of this quarter? And, and is it worth 4% to the stock, the, you know, the hike in, in fees and, and also the cra crackdown on password sharing? Well, there's much more to be skeptical about, I think, than to be excited about. And uh, uh, look, the, the linear business is clearly in decline. 7% revenue uh, decline leading to a 23% oper operating income decline is obviously not good. You have a stalled streaming business. Uh, they're, they're not growing subs. Yes, they have lower losses, but most of those losses are over the backs of uh, Disney Plus, which will probably lose close to $2 billion this year. Advertising on streaming, which should be a really positive element for them, something Iger talked a lot about in the CNBC interview as a major important ingredient of streaming success. Disney Plus advertising down, Hulu advertising down, and Hulu advertising per sub for the first time in about five quarters was up. And the only way that can happen if you have Hulu advertising declining is to have a uh, uh, situation where your number of advertising subs, people taking advertising on the Hulu service is down, which is not a good thing. And Disney World was down, consumer products is down. It's a good day to be talking about gambling, I think. Yeah, Tom, not surprisingly, you've done a masterful job over the years talking about this. It comes as no surprise to any of us here, nor our viewers, because they know that Tom is what, Mel? You want to say the word? No, you say Stud. it. Stud. That's what he is. But let me ask you this. God, this it'd be obviously, cooler if, if, if Melissa said it, but <laughs> yeah, thank well, you. <laughs> can't get everything in life. This Penn Gaming ESPN deal, I mean, late to the dance, but everybody's talking about it today. I mean, does this even move the needle at this point? Um. Uh, look, it's a contribution, all contributions when you need cash and an answer to a declining linear business are a good thing. But just to put this uh, $150 million a year in licensing fees on the gambling side in context, a ESPN sub in terms of uh, subscriber fees and advertising is probably worth about $150 per year. So this makes up for the loss of about a million subs. Now, ESPN over the next 10 years is going to lose 10, 15, 20 million subs. Just to put in context how much of a contribution toward filling that hole in the bucket it is. More importantly, look, we've seen media brands try to drive sports gambling business. Fubo failed at it. Bally's with the regional sports networks could not make a difference there as they go into bankruptcy. Obviously, Barstool with Penn uh, didn't help. And Fox, a great sports brand, just discontinued Fox Bet. So there's a lot here that you can be skeptical about as to whether ESPN paired with Penn, which only has about 2% of the gambling market against the combined FanDuel DraftKings of about 75% of the market, whether it's really going to be able to make a difference off the back of that, particularly when ESPN is going to continue to take advertising from other gambling players. So how much of a difference is this integration really going to make? Tom, we've got maybe a minute left, and I'm just wondering, you know, how would you rank ABC as a problem on Bob Iger's list, and what can he do with that asset? Well, ABC is an issue because it's very hard to imagine how to separate ABC from ESPN, which they plan to keep, um, given the importance of the broadcast network in terms of major sports packages. It's also hard to see how to maintain what Hulu is in the absence of ABC and the cable networks. And so much of Hulu's programming is a function of the programming on those networks. I will say, He's got Kevin Mayer back, which is a really good thing. It's great that he admitted Bob Chapik was a mistake. Bringing Kevin back, I think, further admits there was a mistake there, not putting Kevin in as CEO. You, this is a company that has to transact, and it's a company that has to figure out its major strategic streaming issues. There's probably nobody better around to handle the, both of those. So if there's an answer for ABC, I assume Kevin will find it. Tom, great to speak with you. Always great to get your thoughts, since you are right. a, as Guy called you, stud. He is. Uh, there, you there you go. go. There you, go. you, you <laughs> said it. Much better coming from you. you.